Hi guys, let's wrap up the chapter section four. Uh, modifications of cell surfaces. Cell surfaces in animals. Well, there's this extracellular matrix. It is the, the area outside of the cell. It is a meshwork of proteins and polysaccharides, which you'll remember are um, sugars, lots and lots of sugars bonded together. Um, so a meshwork of proteins and sugars in close connection with the cell that produces them. Collagen resists stretching. Um, so that is why you will hear a lot of uh, like makeups and uh, creams will promote collagen because it helps keep skin looking younger and keeps it from stretching and drooping and developing all those wrinkles. Um, elastin does a, a similar thing. It provides resilience. It keeps your skin able to bounce back. Um, Fibronectin is an adhesive protein which binds to integrin, which plays a role in cell signaling. Protoglycans attach to a long, centrally placed polysaccharide, which resists compression, which keeps things from packing too tightly together. And these assist cell signaling by regulating passage of materials through the extracellular matrix to the plasma membrane. So it helps things keep moving the way that they should be. Here is the uh, extracellular matrix of an animal cell. So here we have inside the cell doing all of its cell processes. Here is our phospholipid bilayer with our proteins. Here we have fibronectin, all right, keeping things um, nice and uh, flexible and resilient. Here we have collagen, uh, protoglycan, okay, glycan, uh, sugar, glycogen. Um, proto meaning uh, protein, so it's a mixture there. We've got some elastin. All right, uh, modifications of cell surfaces. Cell surfaces in animals. Well, there are junctions between the cells. There's adhesion junctions, uh, intercellular filaments between cells. Um, there are two main types, desmosomes, uh, internal cytoplasmic plaques, and tight junctions form in, uh, impermeable barriers. Gap junctions, they are uh, when plasma membrane channels are joined and allow communication directly from one cell to the next. It's uh, very important in heart muscle and smooth muscle so that they can communicate very, very, very quickly. Um, and you want that because you want your heart to beat the way that it should. When it doesn't, that's, that's bad. So here uh, we have some examples. Um, here we have adhesion junction, okay? Um, these are all in intestinal walls. Here we have a tight junction, okay? It holds those, those cells tightly together. And then down here we have a gap junction which allows cytoplasm to move between those cells. It allows um, messages and information to be transported very quickly as well. Plant cell walls. Plant cell, plants have a freely permeable cell wall with cellulose as the main component. component. Plasma desmata penetrate the cell wall and each contains a strand of cytoplasm, which allows the passage of materials between the cells. Cells in woody plants have a secondary cell wall containing lignin and more cellulose fibers than the primary cell wall. It just makes them a little bit more sturdy. And here we have a diagram. Here's the uh, plasma membrane and then the cell wall. Okay, this is a, a, a cross section like looking down through a cell. And here we have the plasma desmata that allow them to communicate with each other. And that is it guys. If you have